the sheep are moving on. Okay, let's get in the shade where you can actually see us because it's kind of bright. Okay, so we are, as you see, the line behind going to the pond, back that way. We've got the house this way. We've got rotation around. We got the kids right here. <laughs> and then, okay, right here. This is the sheep. You know, this is the big sheep paddock all through there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful land. So, you saw the videos about our sheep being sick. Um, what we decided is we're going to put the cows over here. We're going to make this an extra cattle field because this is a, this is closer to the dairy stanchion if we need to kind of hook them to it. Yeah, and it has a lot of grass that the sheep cannot eat. So what we're going to do is move our sheep further away from the house over there by the pond because ultimately we're not milking them every day. We're not we're seeing them every day, but we're not walking them over from four four o'clock in the morning. So I, I've got to get the cows. I'm going to get the cows more pasture this way. Also get the sheep to still fresher ground, but not as much because they don't need what they've got because they can't keep up. And I'm having to bush hog some. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. So we've changed our plan a little bit. Uh, instead of letting that ground rest and let sheep get back on it, we're just gonna put cows on it and put sheep all the way. You see that little field right there uh, where the old B, the other B.A. Berry is, the, the pumpkins and the other field going towards that church. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get started on Getting the T post up. Daddy, one Alright, first few poles going up. You see we kind of bush hogged all this. Looks like we hate it actually. It's just full and thick. And the sheep just couldn't catch up. You I mean you see how big this field is. Now, if we had more sheep, it might be different, but poor sheep just can't keep up with this. And on top of that, they're they're kind of healing up from this ailment, so I'm gonna put them on shorter, smaller area and uh let this be utilized for the cow so we're gonna and uh and normally I'll, i'm gonna probably do a cross fence here too and make it actually two paddocks because it's just really too big for one paddock because the cows won't intense graze it they'll just kind of pick over and i don't i don't need that so we're gonna we're gonna let it grow of course because we just bush hogged it but you can see it's already starting to really come up and that'll help that grass right there help give it back nitrogen back to the soil give it a good mulch and hopefully Make it just climb on up here real quick. So we're gonna... Okay, so we've got about 40 T posts up. And we're about 15 minutes, so we've done pretty good. We're gonna get the rest of these up. We just gotta encapsulate where the sheep are. And go down where our driveway is and then that way we'll be done with t-post and really we've got just a few more insulators left so we'll be able to do what we can i don't know how many we'll be able to do tonight we might have to go back and buy some more insulators though so man we're making great progress better than what i thought okay this is the best day ever no school hot so we've got all in all about 60 t-post up no, we're not going swimming today. We're supposed to go eat and eat supper. Uh, we've got about 60 t post up. Aiden is putting the last of the insulators that we have uh, tonight. And then that really wraps us up. Misty's finishing up planting some cilantro in our new um, bed right on the back side of the house. She also saw we've been planting herbs there, so we're baking it a bigger herb garden, basically. So Aiden's finishing that. I'm putting this up. And we're going to probably call it a night because we don't have enough insulators to run the, the line until probably tomorrow. So... Let's uh, let's call it a night. Yeah. It's about to be summer, so that's when the plant grows. That's when autumn is.
Okay, so you notice on the last few videos we've been putting, been training the the calves to uh, temporary fencing, and they've done extremely well. However, this will be the first night that they've stayed in it, and this is a pretty big paddock. They're with I left Eddie and Ike in here tonight since the mamas have to be over there with me and milking. But they've got great quality grass all down this way. This is the old deer paddock. If you remember, we called this the deer paddock. Um, but they, they've ate this top side. They're now just starting to work their way all the way down. A little nervous. Just don't know how to come. Don't know how they're going to do with this uh, with this um, this fence at night. They've never been in the fence at night. They're used to not being with their mamas at night. But usually in the mornings when I milk, I can hear them, you know, bellowing to their mama because they're ready to get milk for the morning. But the bad thing is they're held up with five, you know, five strand barbed wire, not two strand electric fence so i'm anxious to see how they do tonight i'm a little nervous you know just not not knowing what to expect this is all sweet this is all sweet look how good these look some of them are turning purple man they turn but don't pull it because they're not ready yet look at all these things man look at that Don't pull them. Look at these. Look at these. Y'all don't have this. I thought this would take four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Belil. I couldn't hold her. Here, girl. Oh, Ellie Here. got it. My arm. I mean, I can't. Cannot. Let him down. I don't know who's going to give you arms. <laughs> That's why you pull what I had there. I pulled everything. It wasn't there for look. Hey, I know. I'm just... They are off. Here we go. All right, they're getting set up at their new residence. Here and finish up tomorrow. She's coming back for it. Okay, you can see that they are doing so much better. And we have moved them over here to by the pond area. It's a little bit higher over here. The grass is not as great. But we know that they're staying. They'll have all of this to rotate and it's higher. And um, we know that this area is clean over here. They're on clean, fresh grass. So there shouldn't be any... Um, parasitic activity over here because their their ground is being freshed every refreshed every few days so they're doing good we're really thankful that they pulled through that we were really worried about the two babies we really did not think that they were going to make it but we are very glad that they did we've got this whole field here which is the old pumpkin patch we're going to make a pumpkin patch closer to the house this year I think but this is all uh, bahia and wheat. We've been growing wheat back here. All this is wheat right there. And uh, just as a cover crop and just to kind of give some nutrient back in the soil. This one day will be our new driveway coming into our house. It's a driveway now, but it's just a grass driveway. But So you see they've got tons of land they can come on. And we may make this either some beef cattle that we're not utilizing. Because, I mean, I can't walk my dairy herd this far every day i mean this is probably this is the furthest most point from the dairy barn <laughs> you see it's gorgeous grass just luscious green grass all right here and there's a fence you'll see it's right there kind of breaks my land from that church's land over there but it's gorgeous grass looks great um i need a bush hog one more time before i probably rotate the sheep in here but 
I'm gonna try to do a rotation to where actually they're probably not on the same piece of ground for two to three months just to make sure we're healing it up in time. All right, so let's go get some water and then we'll call it night. It's about what, 7.30 or so? so. It is 7.30. 7.30, so we're gonna try to end the night pretty quickly. So um, let's go get some water. Well, we got the sheet fully done. We're going home. We picked mommy some wildflowers. Picked the girl some wildflowers. Now we're calling it a day. Guys, hope you are enjoying our videos. You can see we're always doing something from moving sheet to tomorrow building cattle fence. So hope you stick with us. Hope you enjoy our content. And uh, most of all, God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.